Hello and welcome to this new video in which I will show you how to install the Unify controller on a Raspberry Pi. Um, at first we will uh, need the latest version of Raspbian which you can get from the Raspberry Pi website. Uh, I downloaded this one and unpacked it into this. Uh, we uh, I unzipped it already because it comes in a zip package. Um, and we need to write it to an SD card. Uh, 16 gigs, uh, class 10 or more is uh, advised. And we will do that using Etcher. And you can download Etcher using this link. So select the image. I have it on my desktop, Raspbian Stretch. And select your SD card and click flash. This may take a while. Alright, now that it is uh, completed flashing, it uh, ejected the SD card, but we uh, actually do need to, uh, it to be uh, installed, so I will uh, well pull it out and put it back in. Because we are going to make this uh, have SSH uh, enabled from the start, so uh, we have to come into uh, the boot partition and uh, right click new text document, call it SSH with all lowercase and remove the extension. Now uh, it will have SSH enabled from the start. So now we can uh, pull out our SD card and put it in our Raspberry Pi and uh, let it start up. All right, now that we put our SD card into our Raspberry Pi, we need to open PuTTY and go to the IP address of your Pi. In my case, it is 1.2.168.2.213 and the default uh, username and password is Pi and Raspberry. All right, now we need to uh, get everything to the latest firmware so we type sudo apt get update all right once that is finished we will do sudo apt get upgrade and we will say yes all right now that it is done we will do the sudo apt get Auto remove. Oh, that went wrong. Copy, paste. And we want to continue. <coughs> All right, now over here it said we need to reboot uh, to, well, finish all everything so we will do sudo reboot and wait for the pi to come back on all right now let's come back on we can now log back in uh, i strongly advise you to uh, change the default password um, and now we have to go to the uh, the Now we have to go to the uh, Unify community to download the latest version of the Unify controller for Debian Ubuntu and we need to right click on this link and copy the link address. Uh, now in our Raspberry Pi we need to go to the uh, source folder so we will do cd slash usr slash local slash src and we will uh, type sudo wget and then right click to paste the link and it will uh, then download uh, the unify package all right now that that is done we uh, can type uh, to view the file name ls-la ls-la I need to type it correctly and it's called unify sysfin uh, now to install it we type sudo dp 
pkg dash i and then the file name that's unify underscore sysfinits underscore all dot dep and now it will install unify all right now it said that there were some errors dependency uh, problems but we can uh, fix that by uh, using this command and i will put everything in the description and now it will uh, grab all the dependencies and install them and we want to continue all right now that unify is installed we can uh, all the dependencies also we can check if it's running by running the command sudo service unify status and we can see that it is actively running and now we can go into our browser and type https colon slash slash the ip in the same my case 182.168.2.213 colon 8443 so i got some errors uh, installing uh, unify uh, but i eventually uh, figured it out and uh, I, what i did was i used this to get another java version so i will put that in the description as well and when that was installed i uh, will first try to restart that obviously wouldn't work uh, so what i did i uh, checked the uh, name and i tried this command and i'll put that down in the description as well and when i restarted then i still got some errors but the Unify uh, SDN uh, is now uh, showing up, so that uh, will work also if you uh, have an existing controller you're trying to upgrade. Uh, this will fix that too. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.